it has arrived. The time is upon us. The final game of the first stage of the Call of Duty World League for Europe, presented by PS4. I'm Alex Machine Richardson. I am joined by my co-caster and lover, Phil Momo Whitfield. We've got ourselves what a spectacular way to end it. The sixth spot is still under contention in our final game. Week nine, day two, map, excuse me, game five. Map one. Map one, Splice versus Giants. <laughs> it is gonna be between these two teams. The Spaniards, Giants, are still looking for that sixth spot. And a win in this series, no matter which, what way they cut it, would put them in that sixth position. Vitality are currently gonna out of the running, and so it's just TCM who yeah. are now sitting, watching our faces. Hello, TCM. Hi, guys. I mean, I, I feel for the TCM guys. I feel for all the kind of neutral fans. Uh, however, one thing that I will be looking at um, is, you know, the only thing that is left to that is Giants and TCM. These guys, obviously, battling out and Splice is all in their power. Look at that box, the dreaded orange box. TCM currently sit within it, reside within it. However, should Giants lose today, they would see TCM take that six spot. Splice have it all to do. Splice are the team that can change it all. Splice have the influence on that sixth spot and it all comes down to how they perform versus Giants. Splice themselves have had an up and a down uh, kind of turn of events for them. We've seen them kind of have a little bit of a, a wobbly time recently and you can see that they have currently, <coughs> excuse me, sitting at 11 to 6. That's 60% map win ratio as well. But there is nothing standing in Giants' way other than one team, four players, and five maps. And if there's anything, if we see anything like the previous games that we've seen today, we are in for a treat. These are the boys here that are obviously fighting for uh, for survival, if you like. Um, headed by Toho, of course, they have got Gamer in. Now, uh, Gamer being one of the players, if you're just new here, uh, for Giants. And, you know, not representing just themselves, not their organization. They are representing the country. Um, and also, you know, even bigger, the rest of Europe, <laughs> in a way. Yeah. Because at the moment, it's six British teams in that top six spot. They're, they're going to be representing Europe as a whole. And, and what kind of, what a way to kind of do this. And stuff. here are the faces of the players that can take it away from them. From left to right, you have Bantz, Vortex, Josh, and Quicker. Porky, I just put him Quicker, excuse yeah, me. It's okay. It's been a long day. It's been a long day, and we've got but a long game ahead of Porky us. Porky yeah. is the fourth man. I'm so sorry. Quick, it's going to be sitting there like, how dare you get me right, wrong? I'm already qualified. I'm already in that spot. Man, don't know why they're making them incredibly count, but what does it matter? Four players on either side. And I mean, you know what? Let's go back to that point that we made prior to the start of uh, the, to the start of this game. And that was that we said, <sighs> will Toho put them all in his backpack, or will there be more players present? Will there be multiple backpacks present? And you know what? If it gets to CTF, Giants will, will definitely have an advantage as they are in the leaderboard so heavily when it comes to that game. However, they have to win at least one of the SDs or Uplink. And I, so that's because I'm not mentioning Hardpoint because they are still a team that really, truly have struggled on that game mode. Yeah, that's it. And Splice, the members of Splice featuring so many of these leaderboards, you know, a minimum of one of each. You see Bantz, you see Hawkey. Um, and Josh, well, I'm not sure if Josh is in any of them, but all, all, all of them kind of feature a Splice member, and only one leaderboard features yeah. those giants, and that's that CTF. And there's a possible possibility that we may not even see the CTF. I don't want to kind of go uh, putting that out there too much because a three nil I'd be very disappointed okay. with. But so I'll I'll raise you, okay, and I'll tell you that giants they've won seven games, right? They've won seven total. games in total, and five of them featured a CTF, right? So expect, if Giants were to pick up this win... And let me guess, the other two were versus Pooks. Yes, and they were 3-0. Yeah. Uh, I mean, uh, it's... They don't win. No, so don't. any other win... So, so what you say any yeah, win without other than Pulse featured CTF. Yeah, they don't 3-0 any team. They haven't 3 0 any team other than Pulse. And that's why they're in that position, you know. They're not a top four team at the moment. Um, I mean, that, that was a key point, was that hard points have been so, so weak. And funnily enough, Splice won 10 hard points back to back. That was going back to that, uh, yeah. week 8, I think. Um, but yeah, hard point has been a speciality of those. Splice have just come off a hot victory yesterday. We did do well at the offline event as well. Giants didn't attend that. And, um, and 
you're only favoring one team. You're favoring your head. He's saying everything about this. He's he's telling me splice. Yes, that's true. But there is a part in me here that wants. Can you see it happening? I I, I think the Giants fans, the Spanish fans, everyone who you know has been supporting these guys needs to get behind them. It's possible they can do it. And you know, if I was to put a percentage on it. I'm not a stat guy, but I'm thinking maybe 60-40 in favor of Splice. Yeah, and that's actually given a whole lot to Giants, and I like yeah, it. Yeah, too right. As Let's we do prepare ourselves for what will be EVAC Hardpoint, the first in the best of five series that will determine that sixth spot. The sixth team flying over to Cologne, Germany to battle for $200,000 amongst the cream of the European Call of Duty crop. The bands are done and dusted, and we are going to be seeing the MR6 Man of War High Caliber Shiva Stock Concussion Overclock and Rapid Fire removed. So everything looking pretty standard there. I will yeah. highlight that no specialist feature within this what this band. Instead, Overclock to just prune them down and see less of them in total. Yeah, I'm really impressed with the fact that Shiva's banned by uh, Splice. That's really taken Smart. Toho. Uh, but Man of War was actually banned by Toho uh, to really take out bands as well. So nullifying the assault rifles on this map is a key factor. But it's mainly SMG dominated. You're going to get a lot of uh, your Vortex, Josh, and Porky running around going crazy. In fact, Bans has been known to actually pull out an SMG on this map and Josh go assault rifle. So I'm, uh, I'm just going to let the gameplay do the talking as these guys do create their classes. This is the last game, this last series of, of this whole stage one. It's gone so quick. There's been some great moments, but this is, uh, this is a time for Giants to really step up. And so it begins here with what looks like a kind of a pick of the litter. As always, we are going to be seeing a bit of a deviation. Giants always like to do something a bit different. Yeah, actually, usually it starts in the banner protect. However, not this time. Instead, we are going to be seeing just the one change up. We are going to be seeing Tempest for Toho and the counter being Scythe for Bants. Annihilator for Gamer and instead Active Camo for Josh. They always like to mix things up. They do seem to have a leniency towards weapons over abilities, but I'm still at heart struggling to justify Annihilator over, say, an active camo. Um, that's a choice which I feel like an ability like active camo can ha have a huge impact on either holding a hill, breaking a hill. Annihilator, not so much. No. I mean, active camo, I think, is, uh, is very hit and miss, but it, we've seen some great stuff by, in particular, on this map. And breaking hills. When it comes down to, down to survival as well, like, say yeah. you take two kills to a position, your whereabouts are unknown. Yep. You can then pour the active camo, and it enables you to not only survive, but also to take, you know, those crucial kills we were talking about, the c crucial kills that sometimes Pulse can't quite seem to find. Active camo enables you to do stuff like that, to actually find the, that crucial third kill that Infused know they're capable of. That's, of course, coming back to our previous discussion we had surrounding Infused and their game earlier on today. Versus Vitality. But here we go. Evac Hardpoint, the first of the series. The final game of the Call of Duty World League online stages. For our first stage, it's been a long road, Phil. It has, it has indeed. I mean, this is technically the end of stage one. We've got one more, uh, obviously, TWL. Um, I think before the stage one finals, that is this weekend, is the Challenger Division. Uh, obviously, that'll be myself and Bryce, actually, who'll be coming back uh, for the third time. Bryce Tacular. Bryce Tacular. In the he has, a, he has a very, very strong introduction. This uh, ladies and gentlemen, that's his. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Okay. It's, uh, I, I think he copied um, a very uh, awesome caster in his time as a member's A-spec. Ah, the full I think Bryce, he admires A-spec. I think that's what it is, really. I mean, it's hard not to admire him with such booming voice and his handsome Dutch jawline. Devilish charm. As Devilish well. charm. Devilish he looks charm. great in a snapback, too. But we begin. Splice versus Giants. And already we are going to be seeing them try and surge forward for some middle control. I like what Toa was trying there, but he's not going to find anything. Instead, Splice start with a bang, as does Gamer. You heard the bang from there. Bant falls to the Semtex. I feel like we already are going to be treated to quite the game field to end things off. This is going to be the uh, the ribbon on the already present of CWL. Yeah, this is going to be the cream of the crop here. And um, I can't help but feel that Giants will have the hunger inside them to take the victory here that might just push them over the edge. And uh, Giants starting off strong here. Splice only grabbing three points off the start here, but... 30 seconds has gone trade after trade, wow. and now the boy is Bans. Picks up two, does fall again, but traded out by Josh. He's also got four to his name. This is what I thought would happen. Josh pick up the AR, Bans alternate to that SMG. Josh 
has Damn. five already to his name. Four key as well. That's what he goes down for. That legend is the last one alive. He's actually picking up the scrap points. Yeah, and you know how we, we highlighted that, you know, someone other than Toho has to deliver, has to stand up and, and fight, and it is going to be, you know, a question of whether it's going to be legend methods or gamer. Gamer currently is definitely kind of someone that we want to keep our eyes on. He is that new question mark, new addition to them. And look at legend go with the HVK. He's rocking a VMP as well for the break. He is going to be coming in towards the second rotation now, taking demanding some respect here on Kitchen. Nice movement from him, checking the outside wall run instead. Toho was doing the same with his HCXD. They have got a hold here, and the break is about to come through. The execute is going to be stopped, though, hampered by Gamer as he's taken down Bant. Vortex pockets himself a double lover, quick to trade. Oh, no! <sighs> Methods sitting on his laurels, costs him as Hawkey and Vortex do take control, and still with 30 seconds left, the contest comes in again. Giants consistently aggressive here, and they've got themselves and nurtured themselves quite the lead. This is the player to watch in this series, and I'm telling you right now, Hawkey has been absolutely amazing at stage one. He nearly didn't make it. He was picked at the post uh, by Epsilon. Splice had him in the trade, but watch this man. Like, he's a young player, he's up and coming, and he has so much to offer. Really impressed me, both offline and online recently. He's currently 8-6, and six, and um, I'll be sure to check in with him a little bit later. But currently, Josh has the rotation down. He's opted to go for the spawns, but who's this player? It's Toho, going right round the back. A bit of sneaky beaver here as he does, and he's gonna pick up one. Vance falls as Josh trades, and Gaiman picks up one for himself. Now Vortex is on the hill. That's a good nade. Oh, excuse me. Wait, I thought that was from his opponent. I thought Giants had just got a real sitter, but no, Hawkey's taking down his teammates. That's not how you want to win this game. Splice, you have so much power right now. So much power, but also so much responsibility. You've got to push time and time again they're coming up against not just a giant squad they're coming up against a giant squad giants giants them this on the you know on the edge of the uh, kind of what actually are they doing they've given them the full the full hill what on earth are they doing they've been held at arm's length bans and josh get two kills and this is going to be like 30 points just gifted over and any lead the giants had cured has just been ripped from them yeah and it's down to these two here josh and vantage play making plays and plays all the time hawkey still on here he's about about to breach a minute of hill time already and now going right around the back and he could find, I just want to see if he does. Legend's going to be bitten in the bump. There we go. Unfortunate for him, but Hawkey too clever. Hawkey the mosquito. It's about now 73 to 70. I'm not sure where my analogies are going. My voice has got even more croaky. Like it. Listen to it. It's crazy. But this is what happens when you cast ill. Nice work from Splice. I like what they're doing in terms of giving them the early points, and now they try and relinquish control. They come in as a unit, or they should at least. Hawkey takes two. Who needs to work as a unit when you've got a player like Hawkey? That's three. Uses Kinetic Karma to the very best of his ability. And Vortex is there to put the cherry on top. And now they have control of green. Giant spawns are not favorable. The double HCXD pushes out to try and not only get information, but also slow them down, delay the encroaching attack. And they're going to have enough firepower behind them to stop this. And now, all onto Legend. What can you do? he can breach in but again you know I said Hawkey was breaching a minute he's already breaching one minute 30 nearly he is the objective player at the moment and today Josh though 15 and 10 stepping up in the slain department you know Vortex as well I don't know what has happened to Bance whether he's taking a different role in the squad or something I'm not too sure but his slain has slipped off in these last couple of weeks let's see what he can do picks up one make it two has the scythe available and he also has the lead we're talking here about a 30 point game in favour of Splice and it is extending on that so, Splice, having this lead is going to be questioned by Giants very quickly. Methods needs to start hitting more and more shots. He's currently lowest in the lobby, just nine. The only player yet to breach double digits. But time on the hill is a different question. Look at Hawkey. All I can sing his praises for days when you look at that hill time. 80 seconds, 86 to be precise. Big stuff from him. Vortex and Vance break through. Now Legend is the one that's holding this fast for Giants. And he's actually closing the gap quite well. He's trying his best for survival, but the Semtex is going to pressure him out of this hidey hole, but he's still going. Game is actually connected with his Annihilator, and look at this. Giants are in it to win it. They're still standing, and they are standing so damn tall. They're going to have the final five here. The rotate now begins for Kitchen, and Tutoho and Co. are already ready, digging their heels in, preparing their den for the hold. Yeah, this is exactly what we saw, you know, from the Epsilon game as well. Such a close, close game. Same for uh, Infused, but... Will we see one team just breach a little bit further? Bans is taking the right route and he's going to see someone on his little laptop. That's not going to help you when you hate CXD, but Tohor and Legend still contesting it and going to keep it as well as Tohor takes one. Vortex answers back trade after trade. Three people on the hill still and Giants come out on top with Methods and Gamer putting a mark on this game. Look at Methods go. Just firing on an entire round only to find one. It was Bans gone. 18th death for Bans not doing as much as he possibly could. I mean, let's not forget that the Man of War, his Man of War was taken away from him now the lead 
it's going to be completely nullified once again. It's just, just this to and fro, this back and forth between these 